get some wet roads this morning. Tomorrow morning is going to look a lot different. Some pretty good snow set to roll in. Here's a look at your commute cast. Foggy, wet conditions this morning. We're in the 40s right now. We're going to be in the 40s this afternoon. In fact, our temperatures are going to drop a few degrees as the day goes on. So it is going to be cooler and obviously wet. We've got some rain showers right now just south and east of Denver. So they're along 225 and E470. Also I-25 down toward Castle Rock. You're going to find some wet conditions. Some heavier rain showers falling up to the northeast uh, near Holyoke and up along 76. So it's an, another gray, soggy morning. We're not going to see much in the way of sunshine. In fact, there's a dense fog advisory that once again covers all of northeastern Colorado and the metro area in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. Then you get farther west, and once that alert drops, we're going to be focused on the winter weather alerts in the mountains. From pink, that's a winter storm warning. We could get over a foot of snow, in fact, closer to two feet in the San Juans by late Thursday, early Friday. That's nuts. It's almost mid-May. Right now in Denver, we just have the dense fog advisory. Our snow is going to be pretty light here, but take a look at Futurecast and the timing of this. Uh, by about 11 o'clock this morning, You'll notice those winds picking up out of the north. It's going to push in some cooler air. So again, we'll drop down into the low to mid 40s this afternoon and through the evening. By it looks like late commute time, we should start to see the rain switching to snow here near Highlands Ranch, Castle Rock, Parker. Uh, it will switch over this afternoon in the foothills. So for those of you that do live up along I-70, Genesee toward Evergreen up to Idaho Springs, you're going to start to see that even up and through Estes Park. That's going to happen by this afternoon. We will see all snow here in Denver overnight into early tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a slushy drive in. Those temperatures are going to be right at about freezing. So if you turn the sprinklers on, I wouldn't worry about that. You may want to cover up some of the exposed pipes and definitely cover up the plants if you've already planted or bring them in. We're going to see that snow continue through the morning and then mix out with a little bit of rain by the afternoon. But this is going to be a soggy mess on Thursday, and we're going to see some pretty impressive snowfall totals. So here on the Super 7 day, likely in Denver, we're at about an inch, maybe less than that. There along the Palmer Divide, you could pick up around one to two inches. And then our foothill spots like Conifer, Evergreen, Estes Park will be at about four to eight inches, with obviously some heavier snow as you get above 10,000 feet. That's where we could get over a foot. Showers will continue into early Friday and then we're going to gradually see some clearing hoping for a little of that a little more sunshine. We will get plenty more sunshine this weekend so it looks great for Mother's Day weekend. Sunday should be at about 70 degrees so quite a bit warmer.